can't buy It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See life's like a beach If you find the sand And right now I feel like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here with InspiredInsider.com. We're here with Oscar Sachs from Sales Floor, and we're here at IRCE. And Oscar, just tell us what does Sales Floor do? So Sales Floor is allowing uh, customers for the first time to uh, shop online directly with their store or favorite associate. So today, when you think about it, everyone goes to an e-com site and they don't get anything that they normally get in store. And the store has been completely excluded from all the online business that's been going on. So we've bridged that gap. Now a customer can go online, talk to their favorite associate or their local store, research with them, get product recommendations, product information, uh, live chat with them, a whole host of different shopping services that make shopping easier. And most importantly, they can buy online and that store and associate will get credit for it. So we've eliminated that gap between the store and online. And uh, we like to call it people-powered uh, e-commerce because we've created omnichannel associates which uh, didn't exist before. So who is the ideal customer to be using Salesforce? I think any retailer that has a certain level of service. So when there's value for a customer to get served by a real person, not a call center, not an artificial intelligence, but a customer needs help, we have a wide range of retail verticals such as uh, we have baby, we have toys, but we also have luxury apparel with the Saks Fifth Avenue and Bloomingdale's, we're in beauty, we're in home. Mm. So anywhere where there's value for the customer to get served, uh, whether it's a big box like Toys R Us or a specialty retailer like Stuart Weitzman, uh, there's value for the customer to connect to their local store. So who's someone who's used sales floor that you like to think as uh, one of the best case studies, success stories? I would definitely give credit to Saks Fifth Avenue. Uh, they were one of the early adopters, a great team, and their associates are really uh, business professionals. Uh, and that's what uh, really inspired me about Salesforce is that there's millions of people working in retail. And that job has kind of been degraded in, in many ways. And many people talk about the gap between the customer knowledge these days because they're researching online and stores. And uh, we're trying to create a new opportunity for the associate. How do we redefine the role of an associate in the store give them the ability to do more than just serve customers in store, let them run this like their own business almost, and give them the tools so that they can sell anywhere in the country to any customer at any time. And uh, we are seeing that with the Saks Associates. Yeah. They've really... Uh, yeah, what's, a, what's some of the specific feedback they've given that's been positive that has helped the, you know, boost sales and you know, help their company? So first, our retailers are telling us that it's uh, recruiting a retention tool, to, to, the, to your point. Okay. The reason is they have the opportunity to convert uh, more sales and income than before for the simple reason that when that customer leaves the store, today they would lose the sale. But now yeah, that customer exactly. can continue shopping online and they have a lot of traveling customers who are you know, uh, away from the store, but they're still interacting and buying from their associate. So we've basically removed the limitation of the sales floor, hence our name, uh, for the associate. Yeah. It's a great name. Thank you. So what's the domain? Is it Salesfloor.net. Oh, dot net. I was going to yeah. say, if you got that domain, that's pretty good. Yeah, I know. I th I th we tried a few years ago and we decided it's not worth it. So Oscar, why did you start Salesfloor? I, my background is retail. Uh, you were you worked at Best Buy early on. So what what are some learnings that you learned from Best Buy that you took to sales for? Well, actually, the the idea was created uh, when uh, I was at Best Buy. Okay. And uh, I was visiting one of the uh, associates who made the most uh, commission than anyone else in the country. That's smart of you. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he happened to be in the smallest market in in Canada, actually, really? and selling the smallest category of products. Wow. Yet he was outperforming everyone. And when I asked him, he said, I don't look at this as just a, a retail job. I look at this as a business. And I go out and market myself and I network wow. and I use this as Did my... you recruit him to work for Salesforce? Yeah. Like, where is this guy? Well, he's probably still there making more money you than most people. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, when I told him, if, you know, how would he feel if he could leverage the power of the web 
and not just the cash register on his floor, he had kind of that look in his eye that told me there's a real opportunity there for a big part of the workforce. So how hard was it to start this? This seems like a big undertaking. You know, every business is, uh, is hard. There's no easy way to right. do it. But I think uh, we're swimming with the current because, as you know, there's major changes in retail. And they all, they don't need me to tell them that they need to find a bridge between their stores 100%. and their online business. So when they see Salesforce, they see this as a critical way to make their store and their workforce more relevant in today's right. digital age. Right. So Oscar, what's a big milestone you've considered throughout the journey of, of Salesforce? What, what have you been most proud of? Well, in the first couple of years, the milestone is survival, is uh, making sure that you're realigning your concept to what you're hearing out in the marketplace. Mm. So I think for us, uh, after two and a half years in the market with the number of clients we have, I think um, knowing that this works across many retail verticals, yeah. uh, knowing that the associates are fulfilled and the customers are using and choosing to shop this way, I think the, the milestone for me is that we've proven the concept. Uh, yeah. Customers want to shop you have this that, way. like product market fit. Exactly. Customers want to shop this way and the associates are good at it. So now it's just a question of how do you grow this into a, yeah. a great organization. Yeah, it's smart because a lot of people, I think, don't listen enough to their customers. It sounds like that's exactly what you do. What are some of, what's some of the feedback you were getting from customers that helped shape the product? I think the customers like the convenience. So what the internet, the dot-com or e-com is so powerful because of convenience, because there's no service. It's, it's all about the convenience. Uh, but it was lacking all the service that you would normally find in a store. So the customers like that they could be at home, they can uh, go to their local store or associates uh, storefront. They can chat with them, which is how people are talking today yeah. uh, you know, in, in, in everyday life. And they can, in essence, shop in real time with someone that they know and they trust yeah. and get full-size images as the associate is scanning products in the store right. and making those recommendations. So I would say the convenience of getting service with the convenience of .com is what they're appreciating the most. Oscar, this has been great. I want to point people towards your site, and I have one last question. So where should we, where should people check out online for you? Uh, I think uh, if you go to any, uh, to sax.com, you'll see us. If you go to Bloomingdale's, mm -hmm. um, we're across many different retailers, but I would say Sax, go to yeah. sax.com and check them out and, yeah. and interact with associates. And people can go to salesfloor.net, any other places for social media, but, but they could check you out and uh, the company out at salesfloor.net, right? That's correct, salesfloor.net. Um, so last question. Um, your colleague was saying about research. Um, is there something going on with the research that you want to talk about? And you spoke here at IRC too. Yes, I did. Uh, we had the chance to speak alongside Sachs, actually. Uh, they've rolled it out to the majority of their workforce. So I kind of explained what some of the needs in the market were. and. Um, the SVP of digital talked about their implementation and all the benefits and, and how they've used it in their journey. Um, but the research piece that we just released is kind of a different spin. We, we're normally always researching customer. And uh, this time we said, let's research the associate. Yeah. Again, that was the, the motivation of this company. And we went out to associates who don't have our tools and said, what are you missing? What are you feeling? Uh, and I think uh, the overall conclusion was a lot of associates out there feel that they don't have the tools to compete with an Amazon, to compete with the digital world. They don't have a tool to help them properly serve their customer because that customer spends 45 minutes with them in the store and then when they leave, they've lost all contact with them. So uh, we established through this research that this really is a, an important factor for retention. It's an important factor for recruiting and employee satisfaction. And we also proved that the associates, once given the opportunity to have this capability, they are rising to the occasion and trying to make it successful. Yeah. Oscar, thanks. Live from IRCE, salesfloor.net. Check it out. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.